Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox and today we are going to be asking and answering the question what would happen if the earth was a moon of Jupiter this was actually a question that was posted in one of the comment sections a while ago I found it while digging through comments and thank you for suggesting it because we've all had this question before don't lie. Don't lie. You've had the question. You've wondered. You've went, what if I looked in the air and I just saw this beautiful, beautiful gas giant in the sky? And today we're going to answer that question. And we're going to do it to varying degrees. Let's start with Earth very close to Jupiter. Could we get Earth very close to Jupiter without having extreme consequences? Place your bets in the comments below right now while you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because only 10% of you have actually done that. Excuse me, that's not good enough. Alright, ready? Ready? Let's see what happened. Oh, oh, nothing yet. Nothing yet. I want to see the amount of the amount of energy being exerted on Earth from the gravity of Jupiter. Let's quickly see. If we go to the uh surface? I don't really know where it is. I know I, I found this before. Uh Tidal Force. Tidal force. Do we have the tidal forces somewhere? Feel kind of dumb now. You know when you take. Oh, here we go. Tidal effects. Tidal stress direction. Ooh, ooh. Tidal stress and magnitude. Tidal heating effect. Eighteen point six exawatts. Ooh, wow. I'm really surprised the Earth isn't being ripped apart by Jupiter. This is really close, and the difference in mass is pretty intense. Let's quickly go to view and just make it so that it's easier to see. Being able to see what you're doing is nice. There we go. All right. So as Earth orbits, it actually looks happy. I did not expect this to have few consequences. Uh, the Earth is heating up, though, because of that amount of energy that's being dumped into it. And uh, I mean, it's oh, God, we're not even going like a day yet. So over the course of a day, it's now about 30 degrees. That's pretty rough. Yeah, it's almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius uh, average temperature. This is not something you would want to have to deal with. So we're going to call this not survivable, and it looks like it's not slowing down anytime soon. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's a little bit brutal. No oceans, no oceans, and burning hot temperatures, it looks like, if we were this close to Jupiter. That's fine, let's go ahead and delete the Earth. You know, just normal. Anyone could delete the Earth if they really tried hard enough. Alright, let's see. Go into orbit, select Jupiter here. And let's go a little bit further away. We'll, we'll double the distance, that's fine. It's absolutely fine doubling the distance away from Jupiter. Okay, and let's go take a the look at the temperature, uh, and we can actually look at the motion and the values, because those are important. Motion. Tidal effects. Oh, this time it's only 1.2 exawatts. So, like, you have to realize the Earth is so far away from the sun now, um, that it's actually kind of incredible that it's heating up in the tidal effects. I thought it would be freezing, so... Looks like, as long as we're, yeah, this is still too hot. I mean, maybe it'll stabilize somewhere reasonable? Doesn't look like it, though. Doesn't look like it. I mean, what is the temperature at? Oh, it's barely going up. Maybe I am over-exaggerating. Let's see. Go real fast mode. No, it's not stable. That's the thing. It's not stable. So what we'll do is we will keep in mind how far away it is right now. And let's put Earth number three. We'll put it all the way back to here. Uh-oh. Half of the Earth just went into a sudden ice age. That's, that's a little unfortunate for anyone that lives, I don't know, on Earth. It's, it's a slight crop failure. Okay, um... Oh, and, and it's still warming up. What the heck? Jupiter, <laughs> trying to melt us. 
Oh, this is really slow though. It would take years for this to even be noticeable. Have you ever considered that the cause of global warming could actually be that in reality we are orbiting an invisible planet with the mass of Jupiter? Pretty intense if you think about it. This is the new conspiracy that all the kids are going to have to get onto these days. The invisible Jupiter theory. Alright, looks like Earth still, still warming up. It's going to be hard to strike a balance with the tidal forces. Uh, we go too far away and everything just freezes to death. Oh, that? Really? Oh, there we go! <gasps> oh, we got kind of like a slight sine wave there, but not really. Look how close it is, though. Alright, we, we are on to something now. Let's just get a tiny bit closer. Tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Like, I think I got lucky there. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Balanced. Balancing things in this game is... Oh, no. So close. But not good enough. Man, this really makes you respect the spot that the Earth is in right now in real life. Because, what are the chances? Now, you could argue that we just evolved to be okay with the temperatures, but, you know, that's less exciting. Alright, I feel like that's pretty good. So, yeah, I honestly didn't expect this to go this well. I thought that Jupiter would just rip the Earth apart immediately. I'm sure that the tidal forces are insane and things like tsunamis are extremely common on this version of Earth, but it looks like it's completely plausible that it doesn't at least completely freeze or melt or get ripped apart. I mean, the question now becomes, can we get the moon around Earth, around Jupiter, because... The moon is also pretty cool, wouldn't want to lose that. So let's go ahead and grab the moon. It's going to have to be closer to Earth so that Jupiter doesn't steal it. Um, although we already have ridiculous time. Nope. <laughs> nope. The, mo the moon just said nope. <laughs> Flew away. All right, let's try a little bit closer then. <laughs> wow. It didn't even try to stick around for like five minutes. Wow. Yeah. Jupiter just absolutely stole the moon there. Did not take long, and it looks like it's flinging it back into Earth. It's not very nice. And someone takes your best friend and then throws them at you at maximum velocity. Wow. I, I can't believe this. I really did just steal the moon. I guess it's... I mean... So when, when they're both kind of parallel in orbit here, when they both meet at their closest point, if you look into the sky, I'm sure this does look really cool. Oh yeah, look at that. You got the moon and Jupiter. Wow, so surprised. Imagine looking into the sky and literally the entire sky is just Jupiter. I propose we build a massive rocket engine on the Earth and move it around orbit of Jupiter. It would be extremely destructive and probably destroy so many different industries and life on Earth, but imagine the view. Oh, wow. Something just hit the Earth. Something impacted the Earth. I didn't even notice. You can tell because the temperature jumped and there's a giant crater in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, God. Hawaii. Was that Hawaii? Oh, no. Oh, we lost Hawaii. Oh, man. That's depressing. Where am I going to go on vacation now? It's a giant crater. Don't worry. They'll, they'll make us some sort of tourist location still. Oh, I wonder where, what even hit Earth. Did something get ripped apart of the moon? Get flung? I really don't know how that happened. All right. Um. Yeah, I really don't know what hit Earth. This is much more stable than I- I can't really say stable now that the Earth just got hit with a massive asteroid, but... I mean, compared to what could have happened... Not- not that bad, alright? Not that bad. So the Earth is in steady orbit of Jupiter, it's pretty happy. Um... I was going to ask a question before the Earth got hit... No, oh, that- that looks pretty good. Alright. I wonder if we could do this with like every gas giant. Let's go ahead and to delete the sun and see what happens. Because I mean, I'm assuming a lot of the heat is coming from Jupiter and the tidal forces, so losing the sun shouldn't it be the end of the world? 
First time I can say that one. Losing the sun isn't the end of the world. Alright. Earth, how you doing? Temperature seems stable to me. Watch me speed it up a little bit and it just starts, like, falling rapidly. No, it actually seems more stable now. Ah! Maybe the sun was the problem all along. If we remove that, global warming will certainly, certainly end. No, no, look at that. Earth, moon, I mean, their orbits did get a little bit messed up. And the Earth and Moon are getting very close together now. It's kind of scary. Um, still plausible, though. Oh. Oh, they're getting closer each approach. Huh. That is a little bit nerve-wracking, you know. At some point, they are going to collide. I don't know when. It could take years. Oh, there it is. It caught the exact moment. All right. Okay, so deleting the sun was just going a step too far. Kids, this is why you don't delete the sun. It tends to have unintended con- Well, I mean, if you- if you deleted the sun, you probably intended for there to be some consequences, so... I, I take that one back. Oh, we hit a maximum of 600 degrees Celsius? What is that in Fahrenheit? Oh, that's not very helpful. I'm just- I'm just curious. Oh, a little bit over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Eh. Could be worse. We- we could have lost Jupiter. That's neat. As long as Jupiter has the same mass, we could just turn Jupiter into a giant water planet and nothing would change. Look at that. A giant ball of ice. Or we could even change it into a giant rock or a giant piece of hydrogen. Which is basically what it was before, or a big block of iron. And it'll still keep Earth nice and toasty and happy. Oh, imagine all the mining we could do. Elon Musk would be very happy in this situation. Well, I think we answered that question to a satisfactory end. Uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, only 10% of you have hit the notification bell, so unless that hits 11%, I'm going to cancel your Netflix subscription. That is a threat. I definitely know your password and your account. Don't report me. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Beep.